back everyone I've gone on 60 thanks for tuning in and we haven't done a driving video in a while so I uh, decided to do a quick just a quick intro to the next next video that we're coming up I actually uh, went to the Texas Mile back in October uh, my goal was to see the the 4 GT that ran 300.4 miles an hour earlier that March my goal was to get him on a run I did get him on a run um, but I got a lot more out of it also I got to interview some really cool guys riding motorcycles and uh, one particularly uh, really nice Toyota Supra I did not get to see but I've since gotten in contact with him and we've done a, a part one of a, of a video that I wanted to do it is a 1,000 horsepower Supra let me down shift a little bit give it a little gas I love that sound. So uh, this is just an intro to it. It's, it's going to have to be a two-part video because it was pretty lengthy. But I just wanted to uh, to just introduce it to you. The guy's name is Antrell. Very nice guy. Uh, very very knowledgeable when it comes to turbos and supers and stuff like that. And uh, really really neat story on actually how he came about his car. Um, he actually found his car literally in his backyard. But uh, just uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, please let me know what you think. All right, I'm here with Antro Pride, owner of this... 1994 Toyota Supra, the stuff which dreams are made of. And we're gonna to talk to him about his story, how he came about the car, modifications, what's the fastest he's gone. You're gonna be surprised. Antrell, tell us tell us your story. Uh, I picked this car up exactly two years ago today. Um, it was Thanksgiving of 2017. Um, barbecuing for my family for Thanksgiving and I heard a big crash in my backyard. Hopped the fence and there was a guy wrecked it right behind my house. So I literally scored this car in my backyard. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so I, I go around there. First, I check on the guy and, you know, kind of see how he's doing. And I'm looking at the car, and I just finally ask him, what are you going to do with the car? And he says, uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to sell it. So drove around the corner. I called two people. I called Mike, who uh, runs Perk's blog, uh, Perk's Garage. And then I called my brother, Derek, who's in Arizona, and I told him what I found. And like man I got an opportunity of a lifetime um, to score a super and it was like well, what are you calling this for just buy the thing so I went back around the corner and I talked to the guy I'm like yo what do you want for the car and he threw out a price I'm like you got a wreck super and the price he threw out was like fourteen thousand dollars oh wow and uh, I'm like you got a wreck car and you want fourteen thousand dollars for it and he says well I got fifteen thousand dollars under the hood so I said pop the hood he pops the hood and I was blown away um, bought the car from him that next day I uh, went to the bank that Friday I uh, got the car from him when I got the car um, start going through it the car didn't drive so um, just start going through it checking everything out and uh, trying to get the car to fire up got the car to fire up put it on my trailer and took it to my buddy's shop so we can get it on the lift and I can kind of see more or less what's going on with it so did that, um, got the car to run on its own power, and then I said, well, you know what, let me, let me put out my strategy. So I went ahead and uh, took it to the body shop, took it to the frame shop, got the car straight, um, ordered all OEM parts for it, uh, put the car together, and about two months later, here I am in my driveway making test hits, uh, trying to get the car to get up on boost, and um, it had a lot of old technology in it. Um, the guy originally told me the car made like 630. Um, I could never get it to make 630. Um, I got it to about 400 horsepower, but that was just on waste gate, never really ran the car on high boost. So um, once I did that, I got hooked and I said, well, you know what, let me build this car exactly the way I want to do it. So um, went ahead and start researching parts, watched a lot of YouTube videos of there guys you with, you know, high horsepower supers in Florida. Um, I knew all of the players in the game in Texas and in Florida, but I just had to fill everybody out. So I'm the type of person where I don't necessarily go to a big shop. 
I'd rather find a small business guy where I can build a relationship with. And once there I can build a relationship with him, I just throw him business and, and I just promote the hell out of out of his products. So, That's understandable. Yeah, I like that. Found a local guy here um, by the name of uh, Chad Berry Hill. He owns Chadada Tooney. And believe me, guys, the rest of the story is very interesting, but it has to be a part two. There's so much information in this story. I know you come here to see some footage of the Supra, so let's go to that. Now, remember, this Supra did 205 miles an hour at the Texas Mile this past October. Very, very fast car, uh, over 1,000 horsepower now. So uh, we will have a part two to this, and there will be more video footage of the Supra. But until then, enjoy.